Hello, welcome back to Green Lady Permaculture. My name is Sarah. And today we are talking about this lovely plant right here, my cannabis plant, specifically Grandpa Larry. Um, this is a specific hybrid of um, cannabis sativa and cannabis indica. A bunch of different strains went into this particular plant. Um, I'll list them on the page here. But we're talking about this day for a couple of reasons. So reason number one, Biden's monumental um, decision last night to pardon all of the people in prison, in federal prison. This isn't on the state level, this is completely federal. Um, so if you know somebody who, or there was somebody who was convicted by the state and not federal, and keep in mind, most situations are completely state. I mean, there was only a couple of hundred um, people that were pardoned on a federal level nationwide. Biden went through and he pardoned everyone uh, on the federal level. Now, the states still have to go through and do that on the state side for anybody who has a state conviction. I know some one person who has a federal conviction um, because they were an advocate and um, they took part in a couple of rallies and things like that. So they were they were charged federally. Um, they were considered a ringleader <laughs> of the you know legalized cannabis movement, and um, so they pretty much threw the book at him. But he's going to get out, so that's great. Um, but either way, I just wanted to bring that up here. I think that's amazing. And I love the fact that I live in Oregon and can legally grow this and I can grow four plants. Technically I can grow six plants, but I only have to grow four. <coughs> God, that's stinky. Talking about the cannabis here. And we're going to talk about how I do partial harvests. Um, what we do here is 
This is this is for our personal use. I could grow up to six plants um, if I wanted to bother with getting a um, my medical prescription again. But the weird thing is, is I have to pay to be prescribed by the state. Um, legally, I can grow up to four plants without a prescription. So this year we're not bothering. Last year we had a prescription. This year I'm like, I'm not renewing and paying 200 and something dollars for my prescription. Um, we're gonna harvest some of grandpa today because the trichomes are all milky. Um, there's a couple of amber and this plant is gonna kick my butt. Um, this is going to be a night night plant only. I prefer sativas because I feel like I need the energy with, I have depression and anxiety so I can kind of go either way. If I need to sleep or I'm just done at the day, end of the day after I've, you know, cooked dinner, done all of my chores for the day, indica. You know, and this will probably be made into like a honey with some of the shake and other stuff that I make. Um, for, you know, taking with like a, a tea in the middle of winter, right before bed. So we'll probably do something like that because that really helps my inflammation, but this is not a daytime smoke. And I'm a little worried because almost everything we grew this year is nighttime. Because <laughs> sativa doesn't like to grow here with our shorter seasons. Sativa plants really like the long seasons. So we've got a lot of hybrids. Um, nothing here is 100% indica. Um, and there's a couple of plants that are showing sativa traits in the leaves. Like this one is actually showing some sativa in the leaves. They're very narrow and thin, but that doesn't really mean much when you've got a hybrid, it's just showing traits. But indica and sativa are very useful um, depending on how you use them. Um, so I know some people who cannot have sativa at all. They're just like, no, it makes me paranoid and want to hide under the, um, you know, hide in the tub and wait for the bombs to drop. That's not the way it works with me. I just get inspired depending and, um, want to get work done. It gives me energy. Um, I have the, uh, milky trichomes, a little bit of amber showing. And the more amber you're showing, the stronger the effect is going to be. So this is already going to be really strong and it's going to kick my butt. My husband says he wants more amber. <laughs> so we're doing a partial harvest. Well, I'm going to do that today and we're going to start the first harvest. Okay, so now we're going to get into washing the cannabis or bud washing. Um, I do it with, I'm doing a four bucket system this year. Last year we did a three bucket system and it was really, really well done. It was just, I noticed as I was trimming later and doing a finished trim that it could have probably used a little bit more. Um, so I'm just gonna do an extra rinse on the end this time. Um, keep in mind, cannabis is fat soluble. It is not water soluble. So if you dunk it in a bucket, it's not gonna do anything. We're gonna have four buckets. I'm gonna show them to you really quick, hold on. Okay, so we have four buckets here. This one I've already dunked some, because what we do is we dunk the first bucket and then we hang and let dry. Second bucket I'm gonna set up now. We've got a bucket, and I can't show the labels, I guess. So we've got a bucket of um, distilled white vinegar. I'm only gonna put a little bit in here. And this is mostly just to get the acidity of the water up. Okay. Just clean dechlorinated water. You don't have to do dechlorinated. Um, and then, all right, so you've got that in there. The vinegar is in the water. And now we're gonna put some lemon in the water. You can use essential oil if you want, but I find that that is kind of pointless. And yes, you might get some lemon seeds in here, no big deal. So, the juice of a lemon. All right, so we have, this is the first dunk, we've already done a couple. 
those are the ones and we're letting them dry a little and then we're going to do this bucket which has got the lemon and the vinegar in it this bucket which is just going to have vinegar in it so now the reason we use the lemon is lemon has got a lot of great things in it so and then that's just clean basic water so we're going to do that then that then that and that but we're going to let them dry after the first Good shake off. Doing this with one hand, so. And this is just the vinegar water. Good shake off. Now this is the clean, nothing in it water. This is the one I'm adding on this year. And just let them dry. Apologize for the airplane. Now I already hosed off the fence. Just wanna make sure there's no like bird poop or anything over here. And you're just going to let that dry. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna get these others done and I will come back and show you the next step. Okay, so at this point I've gone through and I've harvested what I'm going to harvest today. That's the first bucket. That's the first rinse of what comes off. Second, third, and fourth. So even on the fourth, we're getting a little bit of stuff coming off still. Not much, but that's the only cannabis I did today. Still a decent amount, but if you really think about how much I have right now, that's not that much. So about 10 stalks of this size is when you should change your water. Um, I think I have nine here. Now let's take a look at the plant. We've taken a good chunk of it out. I'd say maybe a heavy fourth, close to a third. Hard to say, but quite a bit of this plant came off, but there's still a lot left. And all of it that's left can use a little bit more time. Um, we just took off the stuff that seemed furthest along that got the most sun that could open up the airflow. And we're gonna let this chunk up a lot more. And uh, we should get quite a bit more weight off of this one plant alone. Now we're gonna go and show you the other plants right now. This is the purple ice water. Definitely needs some more time. Um, not seeing a ton of purple, but got some good weight, but definitely has some more chunking up to do. Can't reach the top though. She is a stretcher. And here is my Jack Carrere. Love this plant, smells wonderful. Um, has a ton of thick colas on it. And I'm just gonna use my tripod here to extend it out so we can get some shots at the very, very top. It's hard to control though, so I apologize if it's a little shaky. I had some questions on why I'm using these five gallon water tubs at the bottom here. This is for thermoregulation. It helps keep the plants warmer when it gets cold at night because we get really high swings uh, for the day and cold, cold swings at night. Now I'm going to take you into the garden area where we have one plant. And you must speak friend to enter here. I am that much of a geek, yes. 
So this plant is a little different and one of the reasons we grew it separate from the others is I knew it was going to be smaller. It is a newer hybrid. Um, this is a strawberry guava. It is uniquely yellow. Um, it has a lot of the lemonine, I guess, however you say it, terps, which give it a lot of that very citrus lemon smell. Um, it almost smells like a lemon cello. It's, it's beautiful. I love it. Um, and it's got this really pretty yellow color that's coming through. And as I've posted pictures over the season, people have been like, oh, that plant needs nitrogen. Actually, this plant does not need nitrogen. It's just that's the way this hybrid looks. And you're going to get phenos and strains a lot of times that are going to look different. And people are going to tell you, particularly tell you that it needs CalMag. It does not. No CalMag on any of these plants. Thank you very much. Ha uh ha. -huh. And the reason I say that is I don't want to spend money on CalMag and box newts or whatever when I can make them myself right here and get wonderful results and I know exactly what into my, went into my plants. It's just that simple. Um, if I wanted it to go the easy way out, I'd go and purchase from a dispensary. But who knows how much these plants um, would cost me at the end of that. that. That would be crazy. So I prefer to just use our own nutrients as I have been and it works great. Here we go hanging up the cannabis in our 8 by 16 shed. Um, it's really simple. The, the line is just laundry line and we have some hooks in the wall. I'll show you in a minute. We're just going to hang these up now that they've we've got all the water off of them. They've air dried so I don't have to worry about mold. And just hang them up like this and we do have clips for ones that don't have a branch on it but I specifically cut them so they have this branch so I can hook them uh, it works very well that way and tomorrow after they're dried a little more I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do a little extra trimming just to get that extra fan leaves off and that will work very very well now, the paper that I just put up there, that's a sign that tells me which plant that is and the date we harvested it. So that will make it a lot easier for knowing which plants are which when we go to jar. Those are the hooks that we have on the wall there. Those stay up year round. The string comes down unless we have things to harvest. So it just zigzags across the entirety of the tent. So that's pretty much it. This is how we hang them. And then um, what we're going to do is next time we harvest, we'll put everything in and we'll move, start moving to the front. Um, it works really well, especially if we let it dry with the water off out there. Now, if the humidity gets too high in here, um, we can put a fan at the door and suck in air to pull through the room. Now the nice thing is, is we don't have a high humidity here. Naturally our humidity is extremely low because we are in a desert. So we don't have to worry about mold issues as much. This works fine. Um, especially since I can keep it basically out of the sun. There's no windows in this shed. So it works well and I can lock it at night. So anyway, this here is how we do partial harvests. And I will bring you guys along for the other harvests if you're interested. Um, but the washing of the bud I think is very important as you can see from the water results. I don't wanna smoke or eat that. It's just, mm -mm. And that's with me being completely organic and never spraying anything on them. Um, so that's just dirt, particles, bugs, that sort of stuff, normal stuff. It smells amazing in here right now like just so good right now um and these are going to be the lighter not as strong stuff it's still gonna i think it's still gonna be nuts because we did we had a broken branch about a week ago so we used it as a tester and yeah that kicked my butt last night um i didn't yeah i'm not used to indicas <laughs> so i've been told by my doctor that indica is probably better because of the it has a higher anti-inflammatory so I'm going to try that this year, obviously. I hope you guys have a great day and I will yak at you later. Bye.